Hello everyone, today we are playing The Witcher Wild Hunt. Great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of Revenants. Of course. Why can't I investigate that corpse? Here map says that here is a side quest but I can't see anything. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. It must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Because he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Getting close in the corpses. Otherwise Draenors will never stop congregating. cylinder most likely. Rooms etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra.
Jones here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Let's go see Dijkstra again. sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fawns. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novagrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Exactly. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Ah! 
Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. By the way, what about happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heights, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old coach has been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie. So the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Scallion, blackmail me, will you? Ah. Oh. Behave, Witcher. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. <laughs> huh. 
How can we get inside? Come closer, don't be shy. You'll find out everything you ever need. You made back there at the point. Eh, what was it happened to Faltus again? Ah, watch where you're walking. For the price of two, or um, no, wait a tick. That works. Absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series.
Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelairoise, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, they'll remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm hmm So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. You missing from it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell- <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Yes, I had to.
Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Closer, don't be shy. Crippled Kates. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeep, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loop. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world. Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. I'm not going anywhere, but you are. If not, I'll carry you out right after I knock you unconscious. You're threatening me? Me? You know who I am? You're Mundo Ferro. Never heard of you. Oi! Meats! Come here! This pipsqueak's looking to get his gob wallop. What? Lost your nerve? Attack! Damn it!
This time we will not fight them. Sorry, mate. Seems to me we're just. Don't have time to go back and forth on this. Let's do this quick, man to man. You what? Damn it! What you want to do, man to man, with me? Invite me into the alcove? No, pea brain. Challenging you to a duel. I win. You take your mates and get out of here. Ah, why didn't you say so? I'm always up for smacking a man about the girls. That's all. Enough! Great for his tits. That sobered me up quick. Gents, let's go now. Have our fun elsewhere. No swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. on our own. We're not rich. But I hope this is enough. It's plenty. Farewell. Oof. Ah. Well, well, mm. another free damage. Oh! Mum's an old succubus. Drains my will to me. Ah! Scandalous! It's you. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. Be glad to glance at what you're selling. Thank you. 
you know me? Where from? We met long ago in Brockalong. Possible, but can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. You play Gwent? Do you really have no one else to play with? Always nice to play someone new. Fine. Beggars can't be choosers after all. I'll play you. And even stake one of my unique cards. Let's do this. Pull out your cards. Very good hand. And we won. Damn it all, I'd so hoped for victory. Alas, so be it. You've won the card fair and square.
contract on our lives, we need only wait. We shall die on our own soon. See you next time.